This week in Jamaica now, Omar Collymore arrested at a St. Elizabeth guest house. He was reportedly waiting to flee the island by boat following the murder of his wife and a taxi operator. Michael McLean murder trial adjourned as accused seeks to hire his 10th attorney. The debate over the appointment of an acting chief justice. A cop facing possible action after a man took his bulletproof vest and a hat from his service vehicle. And O R O T U N D Oroton. Correct. And you are the champion. Give him a round of applause. Clarendon's Nathaniel Stone is the Gleaners Children's Zone Spelling Bee Champion for 2018. I'm Damian Mitchell and this is Jamaica Now. The police say they will be criminally charging Omar Best Collymore in connection with a January 2 murder of his wife Simone Campbell Collymore and taxi operator Winston Walters. Collymore was arrested at a St. Elizabeth guest house on Wednesday night where he was hiding out before a planned boat trip to flee Jamaica. His capture came more than a month after his wife and a taxi operator were shot dead along Stanley Terrace in Red Hill, St. Andrew. The two had just arrived at an apartment building where Collymore lived when four men traveling on two motorbikes rode up. The two pillion passengers reportedly got off the bikes and opened fire. The police are probing whether the murder was in an attempt to collect a life insurance payout. A day before her funeral, Omar Collymore, who is a United States citizen, was stopped at the Norman Manley International Airport as he attempted to leave the island. He was later questioned by investigators in the presence of his lawyer, but according to sources, he declined to answer hundreds of questions. High Court Judge Bertram Morrison on Thursday morning adjourned the trial of the St. Thomas man Michael McLean to allow the accused killer to hire his 10th attorney. The adjournment came after Michael McLean again insisted in court that he does not want to be represented by attorney at law Carlton Coleman. McLean told the court that he wants to retain the services of well-known criminal defense attorney Christopher Townsend. Morrison, however, pointed out that since 2008, McLean has changed nine attorneys and warned that if Townsend was not available, the trial would continue. Townsend has since said he was not retained by Mr. McLean. In the meanwhile, Mr. Coleman, who has been representing the accused since 2016, renewed his application to withdraw from the trial, but Morrison refused to grant his request. McLean is on trial in the Home Circuit Court for the 2006 murder of four children and two women in St. Thomas. Attorney General Marlene Malahu Fort this week sought to reject claims that the appointment of Brian Sykes to act as Chief Justice was in a bid to hold the post for her. According to Mrs. Malahu Fort, she is not interested in the post. And Mrs. Malahu Fort says the Prime Minister was within his right when he decided to appoint Sykes to act. The opposition has indicated that it could take the matter to court. In the meantime, several commentators say Holness's decision is a bad precedent and seeks to interfere in the judiciary. The police inspectorate is probing an incident in which a man was videotaped entering a patrol car and removing and adorning a police-issued bulletproof vest and a hat. There are reports too that the acting police commissioner Clifford Blake has ordered that a police corporal be sent on leave pending the outcome of an investigation into the incident. According to law enforcement sources, the incident happened in August Town St. Andrew, which has seen a flare of violence in recent weeks. Calling Jamaica its closest partner in the region, United States Secretary of State Rex Tillerson on Wednesday pledged continued support by his government to bolster the capacity of Jamaica's security forces to clamp down on transnational and other crimes impacting both countries. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Andrew Holness has reported that Jamaica was no longer getting oil from Venezuela, but has avoided saying whether his administration supports the economic isolation of the South American country in the international community. With the U.S. imposing wide-ranging sanctions against the Nicolas Maduro regime in Venezuela, Tillerson said that his country would continue to put pressure on the ruling administration to return the country to free and open democratic elections. It was persistence that delivered the thrills this year for Clarendon's Nathaniel Stone, the 2018 Gleaners Children's Own Spelling Bee Champion. Stone, a three-time parish finalist, took the title after he spelled the championship word Orotund. O R O T U N D Oroton. Correct. And you are the champion. Give him a round of applause. Give them a round of applause. I just have to thank God. I feel elated and it has been an exhilarating journey and I just want to thank God for this win. This is the second straight win for the parish of Clarendon and coach Errol Campbell. The House of Representatives has passed the new Road Traffic Act, which will impose tougher sanctions for breaches. 
Under the new law, drivers must have their licenses at all times. Handheld devices will now be restricted, and fines are now as high as $40,000. The Transport Minister Mike Henry has warned motorists to change their behavior in the traffic environment to reflect a deeper understanding of the responsibility of their own safety and that of other road users. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at onlinefeedback at leanerjm.com. You may tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. I'm Damian Mitchell and before we go, more from Nathaniel Stone, the 2018 Gleaner Children's Own Spelling Bee Champion. I just have to thank God. I feel elated and it has been an exhilarating journey and I just want to thank God for this win. Even though you might go off on a little letter or two, it still shows that you have confidence in yourself and it shows a lot about you. There was this word that that Dr. Lai gave me and it was xylem but actually he gave a little off pronunciation and he said xylem. I spelled xylem and they, they rung the bell and I would have lost my handicap but after my coach carried it then that handicap was restored. To succeed you have to first believe in something with such a passion that it becomes a reality. I believed in myself and here I am champion. This is your Jamaica Observer Weekly Roundup. I'm Casey Asher. Top stores in the news this week. Tillerson assures U.S. help in event of Venezuela oil cut. PNP to take traffic euro case to Privy Council. Missing schoolboy found dead in shallow grave. And Grange confident Jamaica women's bobsleigh team will medal. United States Secretary of State Rex Tillerson on his brief visit to Jamaica on Wednesday assured that Washington would assist the island in overcoming any fallout arising from supporting efforts to promote democracy in Venezuela. Tillerson also lauded the government for the important progress made in combating lottery scamming and said that the U.S. government will continue to support Jamaica's security forces and criminal justice system. In other news, the Electoral Office of Jamaica on Wednesday disclosed that it has submitted a $41 million budget to the Minister of Finance for conducting the March 5 by-elections in the St. Andrew Northwestern constituency and the Norman Gardens Division. Parliament on Tuesday approved the new road traffic bill, introducing heavier fines and other penalties for breaching the road code and giving the police full authority over the use of the country's roads. Security Minister Robert Montague on Sunday suggested that the state of public emergency in St. James be referred to as enhanced security measures, as Montego Bay is the tourism capital and a state of public emergency has negative connotations. Meanwhile, the Register General's department on Wednesday expressed concern that children without their father's name on their birth certificates will have issues accessing government services under the fast-approaching national identification system. And attorneys for former Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller and senior officials of the People's National Party, PNP, outlined arguments to have the traffic bureau case go before the London-based Privy Council. This move comes after the appeal court dismissed their appeal against the Supreme Court ruling that Simpson Miller, Philip Powell, Robert Pickerskill, Colin Campbell and Norton Hines must testify in court about the $31 million donation by Traffic Euro Beheer to the PNP in 2006. On the crime scene, a policeman was hospitalized Thursday night after he was shot three times while attempting to thwart a robber in Portmore, St. Catherine. The Education Ministry dispatched a trauma team to the Spanish Down High School in St. Catherine on Tuesday following the murder of a 17-year-old student of the institution. The boy's body was found with stab wounds to the head in a shallow grave Sunday night, two days after he was reported missing. An argument between a father and son turned deadly in Rose Hall, Clarendon, Monday morning when the 21-year-old man reportedly chopped his 73-year-old father to death. A day later, a taxi driver allegedly stabbed a passenger to death along Hope Road in St. Andrew following a dispute over taxi fare. And four Costa Ricans are among 11 people who were arrested Tuesday after they were allegedly caught compressing approximately 1,000 pounds of ganja at a shed in Sweet River District, Westmoreland. In sport, Jamaica Scorpions easily brushed aside USA cricket by 98 runs on Tuesday night to break out of their slump with their first win of the regional Super 50. And Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport Olivia Grange 
on Sunday said she is confident of a podium finish for Jamaica in the bobsleigh competition at the Winter Olympic Games, which started in South Korea on Friday. In our Clovis tune this week, the major organized crime and anti-corruption agency MOCA is telling a judge that it has arrested its sixth hacker as it takes a scammer before the court. The judge, who is seated behind a lectern labeled Jamaica No Problem, smiles and waves a feather. Mocha on Tuesday reported the arrest of a sixth alleged hacker in weeks. Their charges include possession of identity information, distributing identity information, using an access device to transport money, and a conspiracy to defraud. That's it for a weekly roundup. For all your updates, visit our website at